John Marston. I hope I spelt his name right. Mr. Marston. Oh, man. Becoming a man. My mini Starburst, yo. Fruit juice. Unwrapped. Cherry, orange, strawberry, and lemon. Natural and artificial flavors. later. A wheel. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved to shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should just go on to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in strawberry. What do you know about strawberries? I know they like good, honest, hardworking men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. What more can you ask My for on that, life, Abigail? I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's been pretty good. We'll read different books then. <laughs> the books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur, and there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere, and a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Hmm. And the strawberry. The Marston family.
nice horse, actually. That's where we're headed. <coughs> Jesus. The scenery, again. Hey, that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. See what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Oh boy. And look at that. <laughs> John has Arthur Satchel, huh? Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well... We need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. <laughs> Tell me about a wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, yeah, I should go tell my wife, and then... I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Boys acting all tough over there, huh? So. doing here boy I said you weren't coming so here thank you doctor hey <laughs> how you getting on I well, found some work me too delivering goods out to some ranch cleaning a doctor's surgeon I'm living it is John oh it is this is the way to it I'll take your word on that well, what do you suggest now I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Mm Big change, man. Room for rent. Hmm. Buddy! Howdy. That looks like real work. Now, if only I was getting paid to do this. Mighty impressive. Keep it up. Take care now. Motor up pretty good, Milton. Good. Past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay.
So we just stay on the trail. As I said, really lovely, lovely scenery here. Beautiful game. I know I said it plenty of times in other videos, but Jesus. <laughs> Rockstar. Keep on rocking. <laughs> Careful, bunnies. Jesus, those rabbits were gonna run right near the wagon. I said I haven't really took the chance to just look at the beauty of the visuals of this game, yo. To the developers, kudos, man. Kudos. Wild 
pig. Or pig. Silly dog. <laughs> All right, come pipe down, Marston. Pipe down, Marston. This must be it. Oh, I forgot how big the place is, actually. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, she was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. Hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> you can use that horse. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. That's my damn wagon. Well, that's how you do it. Last time I had such a hard time getting it. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? 
No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. I need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. <clears throat> I'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Yes, sir. Damn it. All my snacks is gone. Ugh. I need to find some nuts. To... I need to find something else to chew on. Hold on. Hold on. Bear with me. Hold on. Be right back. For an honest j living here. Part one. Pronghorn Ranch. Epilogue, part one. Alright. Let's get started with work. Hey. Hang in there, girl. Go excited for my first day. Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, nah, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Oh, <laughs> well, that guy uh, didn't notice something. To be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Right. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. 
Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, you're sure. Yeah, of course, mister. Thank you, sir. Oh, warrior. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Waifus. <laughs> this is Milton. <clears throat> Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Jesus. Last thing I want is a lip from you, woman. Ugh. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey. are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. So, where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying hey, cows. everything. The ranches. <laughs> but, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Anyway, here's the cows. All right. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach right. her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. That cow likes you. Almost got a pail full. Alright, that's one down. Have you never had a er, <laughs> have you never had a your hands on a tip before? None that were this big. Hey Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. How about you and the boy, uh, help me clean out the stable? Sure. Come on, son. Gotta learn to keep our... keep here. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now... It ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you 
get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Somebody's got to do it. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. That stinks. Hold on. Am I going the right way? From gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Yes, it does. Watch and learn, son. things up I'll go check on her okay <laughs> imaginative family Okay, thank you. Coming. All right. Hang on. Be right back. Shit, in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do mm -hmm. a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Did she dye her hair?
Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. <clears throat> yep. There's plenty more to do. All right. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Yep. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Okay. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. You're doing all right. And that's it. Time. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. All right. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All hey. right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Yep. Just gotta work hard, is all. Hmm. Look at that, the fence coming in. Ooh. Alright. Mm-hmm. In. <clears throat> oh. Yep, be right there. Hold on. There we go. Keep going. Hold on. much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Oh, 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 oh! Now calm down. Ah, silly bull. Seriously? You better not go hit that fence I just made, boy. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Huh! Like you're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. 
but I'll try. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Mr. Dickens? Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. I'll make a rancher of you yet. Hey, Chris, how's it going? And start of fight scenes. Yep, yes, it is, Chess. <laughs> Alright. Hey. I'll get the coffee on. Mm hmm Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Hmm. Alright. Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, and they're about to foal, sir. And no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my <coughs> boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Ugh. All right. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Because since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And hmm. I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck, dude. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> is that what the boss was doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well... It ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. You'll be just Having at the an end. Having an affair, huh? Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. All right, then. <laughs> Whatever. It's his life. All right. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yeah. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. 
that, hey. Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. <clears throat> there, boy. Settle down, okay? Come Easy. On. Easy, Easy boy. boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in foal. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. All right, you. Hey, come on. Move it. Sorry. Let's get a lather up. Everything you got. Come on. Alright, come on, boy. Who's a good boy? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Good horse. Get this energy off you, huh? Come on. Let it all out of you. Come on, come on. I know you can go faster than that, Jeremiah. Come on. Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there ain't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. Mm -hmm. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Oh, look at this horse. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Come here, ma'am. <sighs> Sorry about that. I helped your boy. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Bill, we all know where he goes in town. 
and it ain't hunting for hands. <laughs> it's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. I think she's well we're not out of the woods but I think she may be okay great we'll make a proper hand of you yet mr. Milton I hope so thank you oh and mr. Milton feel free to make a call at the house sometime perhaps even now a drink to toast our new arrival <laughs> I'd like that but my wife is expecting me back oh you're married I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. <sighs> Good job. Good job, John. <laughs> Honest man, unlike her husband, but you know, again, that's between them. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. What the hell's Jack up to? Our Lancelot. Hey, John. Jim! <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, <clears throat> this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. There, girl. Now let's go. Jack. I... Another. Oh my god. <laughs> Again. See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Even faster. Come on. Faster? What's happening? Help. Easy there. Easy there! Whoa! Jack! You okay? Damn. Watch.
What's your language? You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. All right. Let's go again. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Huh. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. I believe in you, Jack. Come on. Let's go, boy. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. Ha! I want to say faster, but I'm worried. <laughs> I'll try and be confident for my boy here. Steve, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Son, your horse is much bigger, and you're much smaller, like a jockey. Yeah, I'm gonna see what happens if he wins. Last time I won, part of me wants to see what happens if he wins. I'm, I'm thinking.
the eggs. Alright, I'm back. What the... Oh yeah, right, 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 this... Yeah, this... Watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! I'll talk and no action. Ooh. 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 He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> what you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will you? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Get off my back, Abigail. Ah, the female species, man. Has nothing to do with uh, being a hero. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Dutch, huh? hear any of it not in front of the men you toad all right smile smile do not embarrass me mr. Milton I should like mr. Geddes hey I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys yeah there was an incident well, I mean to, to scare me are you scared a little I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, uh, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, you gotta do something. 
So? Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Man, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Silly puppy. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of him. Yeah, yeah, right. Say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Oh, the hat. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm gonna go straight in. Yep, Tom. Again. I you never really had the chance to enjoy cover. it the first time I played. Hey, you're gonna try and flank the place. And oh, the hat. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> Arthur Morgan. Yes, sir. Okay. I miss you, brother. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of your hayseed before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him. <laughs> It's a shotgun.
Oh no. through it before I can't jump through it now. Oh of course. They want me to go through the door for a storage slot. Okay. Hey. Hey. I know you're in here. Hey I'm taking shoveling back. No good track. Get off of me! You knocked my hat off! can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Don't give what? me that look, Abigail. What? <sighs> what choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? <sighs> Look, 
just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Arthur. <laughs> oh. Arthur. What's this? Ah. Let's do some milking again. All done. But it's kind of true, John. As much as it's hard, it's hard to do. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? John, protect Abigail and Jack. Rains fall. Save your son as you could not save your people. Dutch, start listening to them. As a really, as really loved you. Hmm. Being back in this country made me dig up Arthur's old journal again. Odd few years wan wondering, wandering. Now back here, this country that we ran to when things went crazy all those years ago. My mind is full of ghosts. Been a tough few years. Jack don't like me, and Abigail cannot stand me. Or is it the reverse? I wonder if there's anything in these treasure maps. <laughs> Killed a fellow because he looked at me funny. Abigail wants me to settle down. To what? Everything I've tried has gone wrong for so long now, and now I'm back in old country. Well, I guess the North didn't turn out so good. Let's go talk to Abigail. <sighs> I love you, Abigail, but cut me some slack here. How are you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Uh, only thing I know how to do is well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. Tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. I'm doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get. You take care now. 
course. Jesus. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? Go back to the road, Pa. I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Ma was wrong about that. We ever gonna get to Strawberry going like this? Ukulele? No. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Could go bathroom. Nine nine ma. Just play game by myself. Strawberry, Valentine, Blackwater, Roanoke Ridge, Beaver's Hollow, Annisburg, New Hanover, San Me. That's enough for now. That kid, Strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. <laughs> the way you said that, little Jack, I don't know. Two dudes just come running right in front of me and then just yell out, right. You rotten asshole! Here we are. You alright, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. <laughs> Hi. I'm here to. Name? My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. 
I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Yeah! I don't like the way that guy looked at me either. And then he leaves. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Hey up. Just a bit faster now. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Actually, you know what? Faster. Yes, sir. Yeah! Too fast now. Okay. Easy there. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. He'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Head down, boy. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Oh! Oh! Oh, hey, I got a phone for you right here. It's okay. You're okay. 
What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep your eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Serious? Oh my! Okay, now we're stuck. You were real brave back there, real brave. Why are you stopping? Damn it! Are you effing kidding me? Jesus! Stupid son of. Big chance. What was that thing you were saying? Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. Hmm. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Don't stop. Jesus. Yep. I think he was telling me something. Can we just keep going? Don't go, Paul! Damn it. Jesus. We got to get back. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, 
Grenadier, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Shit. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, Things could have gone real wrong for us. There, That's right. Peter's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us own the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher, boy. Like Doug and Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Stay calm, little Jack. <sighs> Nobody wants wanted that. Karma, she could come in many different shapes and forms. Slow up now. What happened? Yeah, it's... I don't... <clears throat> we got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. <sighs> this is why I never get married. <laughs> Motherhood. Hey, Mr. Jim? Uh. Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Huh. Okay. Thanks, Abe. I don't know many people. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money.
That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Morning. It's a good spot, this, ain't it? Mm hmm. So long, then. So long, then. Uh, better not keep the man waiting. Let's see what he wants. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Alright. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine's. Mrs. Adler. <laughs> Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Gotta have a word with the wife before she gets all skittish. Hey. <clears throat> Abigail. Oh shit, yeah, right. This is when she leaves. Darling John. A kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. <sighs> we all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. I guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Good morning. Hello. You know what? Life marches on, I guess. You try to stay safe. So long. <sighs> Get my mind off it. Remember what Arthur said, okay? Oh, shit! Damn bull. Alright. Get my mind off. 
profit. Do one thing or another. You can't do both. Remember that, Marston. I did that. Mm -hmm. That's right, John. That's where you can say I did that. A few months later, she up. But that's her fool. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. All right. Go talk to him. Hey, mister. Don't get so head up. You got to relax, it. will you? What the hell happened there? <laughs> Jesus. What the hell did I have to defuse? Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... <laughs> my wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. There you go, John. Some good news, actually. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Look at that. My old gear. the Morgan's hat. Oof. A look that someone wants to get something done. So we're heading to... Wait, where? Uh... 
this dude. It's a mission. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, that's pretty far. Blackwater. enjoying the music and yet I don't know if the music was show because of copyright but
Let's go. Let's go, girl. Man, another beautiful looking horse. Damn! Stretch them legs of yours anyway, right? Yeah, good girl. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yep, we're close. I recognize this area. Definitely Blackwater feel here. Blackwater is something else, man. Pretty border. Twenty bucks. That sounds like forty bucks. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Good day. Yeah. Come on. I'm in. looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch? Beecher's Hope? <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. All right. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Here we go, John. Yeah. 
I'll find peace. Help the blind, and maybe you shall see. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. Enjoy the world while you can. Enjoy today. For tomorrow. Tomorrow awaits us all. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Okay. What the heck? Holy sh snakes, dude. The skinners. That was that was where they are, yeah? The skinners? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Hmm. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy. Says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna owns it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. <sighs> Last time I intimidated. That, that, this time I did that. In a way, I feel better with that choice than the first one. <laughs> uh, that was a sad story. <laughs> I intimidated. <laughs> There's times to be cold hearted and times where it's like, uh, maybe I should have actually done the decent thing. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm -hmm. John Marston. Actually living a life now. Trying to. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. 
Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> oh, Uncle. Love you, but at the same you time, hate you. Shut up. Don't start, man. Be lucky I'm bringing you along. West. West. Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? On a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. <laughs> Don't push my buttons now, Uncle. Be glad again that I'm even bringing you along. <sighs> Need some work obviously it needs work to be done obviously but you know just <sighs> no poking the mule please Exactly. Did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Great. Now he just stays there. Look at that. 
fixing the fence, eh? Little by little, yeah. Oh shit. Nine bucks. How do you like that? me again. I'm getting there, ain't we? Old man, buenos dias. Tell me, how's it going? Oh, all right, I guess. Don't mind me. I'll let you get on with it, John. Come on, lady. So this horse's name is Rachel, huh? Alright, hold on a sec. further away or yeah I'm getting further away great Good luck with it. Que alivio. <sighs> Go and sell this, see what happens. Good, but you're a good filly. That's a girl. We're heading back to Blackwater for a bit. is changing. My friend, 
Somebody help me, please! Oh, in Morning to you. I'm... I'm looking for my friend, and Gavin, for Gavin. Has he been gone say. long? Uh, yeah. <sighs> he is. You bloody is. <laughs> I can't tell him. I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life. Looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Kevin. Good luck. Kevin. Oh, I am so oh, Gavin. worried. Blood on you there, friend. Gav. Gav. Uh, Gav. How'd you end Where up way you? over here? Jesus. Where are you? Can you believe that? See the butcher. Thank you. No fast travel at this place. Uh, wow, I'm not even close. 
close to it. What the hell no. happened to the wagon? <laughs> you saved me some time there. Thank you. off, Missy. for now. We'll play a different game. Oh. Would you like any assistance? Oh shit. Yeah, if uh sure, why not? Good. Now don't you worry about a thing. Oh shit. Let's uh let's keep it friendly here. I got a I got a wipe. Uh I should have declined. I uh I love Abigail too. I love her. If you need anything, all right? Do you have speech? Get all the madness outside that door. Well then. So uh how are things? Yes, not too bad. Huh. Sure got dirty, didn't I? You're telling me. Yeah, I work on the ranch. Uh, oh. Didn't mention I was married. Does that feel all right? Yeah. Again, let's keep it friendly here. Professional. It should decline. Yep. I'm finished. It was nice meeting you. Oh, shit. Abigail's gonna kill you, John. Just let me know what you need. Yeah. 
A room for tonight, please. Room's all yours. Head on up. Thanks. Good enough for now.